and gentlemen, welcome back to another Dauntless video. Stylus Mustache here and today gonna show you guys the Mastery Grinder build. So basically this build was designed to stagger, wound, boop and break parts of the behemoths. So grinding for the very late behemoth mastery levels will be a little bit smoother with this build right here since it provides everything you need in order to complete faster the objectives uh, during every single encounter with the behemoths. So without further talking, let's jump straight into the build. So for the weapon we actually have two different options. The first one is Neizaga Scythe, which comes in plus 3 savagery and its special effect heals you for 100 points on perfectly charged vertical attacks. That's not very reliable in terms of healing, by the way, it's still very nice to receive that HP back. Now for the modifications we're using Grimmel Sloth and Overcharged Cylinder, which in my opinion are the two best mods you can use in any X build, by the way, choose whatever suits your playstyle. For the cells we're using plus 3 Overpower and plus 3 Aetheric Attunement. So now for the second weapon of choice, we're using the Neizaga's Charge, which also comes with plus 3 Savagery, and its special effect heals you for 300 points whenever a behemoth is staggered. Now for the mods, we're using Mighty Landbreaker and Extended Clip. By the way, if you want, you can use different mods, again, it's not mandatory, just use whatever suits your playstyle. Now for the cells, we're using plus 3 Overpower and plus 3 Aetheric Attunement, which is basically the same cells that we were using for the other weapon, so you don't really have to change your build much in order to switch from one weapon to another. Uh, just bear in mind that both weapons are very good and very effective, so just choose whatever weapon you prefer, and depending on the behemoth you're fighting. So now for the helmet we use the Light Scrum, which comes with plus 3 Conduit, and for the cell we're using plus 3 Cunning. For the chest piece we're using Quill Spy Jacket, which comes with plus 3 Savagery, and for the cell we're using plus 3 Acidic. For the gloves we're using the Light's Refuge, which comes with plus 3 Conduit, and for the cell we're using plus 3 Cunning. For the legs we use the Dance of the Swarm, which comes with plus 3 Conditioning, and for the cell we're using plus 3 Overpower. And last but not least we use the Dress Xai as our Lantern, which is basically the best Lantern in game right now, and it has an instant effect that increases our damage by 30% for 6 seconds. Now for the cell we're using plus 3 Aetheric Attunement. So now let's move into the perk summary. So here we have plus 6 Aetheric Attunement, which gives us plus 50% Lantern Charge from attacks. Plus 6 Conduit that increases our attack speed by 25% for 8 seconds right after using the Lantern Hold ability. Plus 6 Cunning that gives us 15% critical strike chance. Plus 6 Overpower that increases our damage by 70% versus staggered behemoths. Plus 6 Savagery that increases our damage by 100% versus wounded parts. Plus 3 Acidic that converts 50% of part damage to wound damage. And plus 3 Conditioning that gives us plus 15 stamina regeneration. So basically this build right here, uh, whenever you start attacking a behemoth, very quickly you can stagger it because both the hammer and the axe are very good at staggering and whenever you attack you're gonna create some wound damage and whenever the part is wounded you're gonna start dealing 100% additional damage. That's twice the damage, the normal damage. And whenever you stagger the behemoth you're gonna get an additional 70% damage increase. So imagine that if, you're, if the behemoth is staggered and if if the part you're hitting is wounded, that's 170% additional damage. That's not counting that Cunning actually can double that damage on top of that. So that's extremely insane. By the way, this build right here is focused on both that. Staggering, wounding, pooping, and breaking parts. So that's gonna make your life much easier when it comes to grinding for Behemoth and Mastery levels in the late game. So that's pretty much it for the build guys, now I'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration with this build right here so you can see what I'm talking about here. So thank you for watching guys and now check this out.
So that's pretty much it guys, if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Dauntless videos like that, so thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!